Hey everybody, welcome to my bathroom once more for another shaving video. Uh, I got one of my three new soaps uh, that I ordered. I got one mail call soap come in, so here it is. This is going to be an awesome shave right here. Man, this stuff, this stinks so good. This is Mickey Lee Soap Works. Panty dropper. That's right. The panty dropper in the house. And man, it's it's that is this is some good stink. I'm gonna pour I been put a little bloom water in there while I was taking a shower. I'm gonna pour it out. It's a soft soap anyway, but I'm uh and whip my face with it. I could probably start a lather with this right here. Just the bloom water. So. Okay. So I've got a couple of other soaps coming in, and I've got a new razor blade coming in. It's just a, uh, a blade, so I've got to get scales for it and put it on there. So uh, I'm, 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 I really can't wait for that blade to come in, though, because that's it's going to be a doozy. So uh, the brush for today is a Smoke 1438 Excelsior, and Shangridge. Patron, Añejo, Patron. Yeah, getting there. I got a good drunk left in that, and that's about it. Problem is, I sit here and I drink one or two shots, and then I set it down, and I don't ever get drunk off of them. So, anyway, salute. I sipping tequila right there. You don't. I kill anybody. I know they put a margarita on that. So here we go. Mickey Lee, Soap Works, Panty Dropper. We're gonna get the lather. We're gonna load the brush here. This thing's loading pretty quick. Oh my God. I just did a top five video and this this right here just just very well may uh, may uh, unseed someone. So yeah, that didn't take long at all right there. Bloom water's already dried off. Put a little bit more on there. Okay. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is some good shit right here. Easy to lather. Easy to load. Clean suds everywhere. Look at there. Look at that. Creamy goodness, melted ice cream.
James, I don't know if you got a patent on that, but I just like saying it. I like saying it like you say it. I get a kick out of it. Uh, today's razor will be, now don't confuse this with, uh, with a type of, of steel with a similar name. Uh, this is a razor made by, I guess it says TTC. It's got a diamond, it's got a diamond shape here. And it says, where is it at? Right there. And it says TTC. I don't know if you can see that. TTC. And um, it's called Damascus Steel. If you can see that. Damascus Steel. Now this is not made out of Damascus steel as you would think like the layered uh, steel and then and made that way. This is not one of those razors. It's got some rust spots on it and it's got what, I, what I've learned I think is called a toe notch and it's got a pretty heavy grind on it. It looks like a wedge but it's got some hollow grind so I'm going to say I'm going to call it I'm going to call it I'm gonna call it a near wedge or maybe even a quarter hollow. It's it's pretty it's pretty heavy ground. Uh, and so this says TTC Damascus Steel is what this and I tried to shave with this once on a video and um, I, I didn't it was not a successful attempt so I backed up and I punted and I used a different razor. Well I put it back on the stones. I think I've got him pretty sharp now. So uh, we're gonna give it a go. I've got, uh, let's see, at last shave was Friday evening. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday evening, three days, three full days growth. And uh, so here we go. And it is mowing those whiskers very nicely. It feels like a wedge razor. And I'm a big fan of a wedge razor. Yes, sir. Good soap. Man, I love the smell of this shit. Panty dropper. Panty dropper. Uh, the scales on this razor are a, a green uh, faux mother of pearl that I bought off eBay, and uh, they've got the bullet or the uh, the bullseye rings on them, and a black wedge in the back there. And um, I, I put it on there myself. I like the way they look.
I've been excited about this shave all day long. I wanted to shave yesterday, but uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm better off shaving like every three days. Just because my, my face, even though I need to shave like every other day, my face can't handle it. It just, it, go, it, gets, it gets all irritated and bumpy and rashy and So if I can get away with doing it if I can get away with shaving every third day, I'm gonna try to do that. And I really don't see why not. I don't work a job where I have to shave every day. Shit. They don't care how you look as long as you as long as you wear pants. No, but it don't man. Oh, look at the slickness. Mickey Lou, soap works. Live, leaving the panty dropper, leaving the slickness. My face is wet. Plenty of lather. Left in the brush. Not going anywhere. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm not a reviewer. I just get on here and shave, folks. I don't review soaps. But that's the shit right there. That's, that's some good shit. Got a couple of nicks right there on my chin.
I'm feeling pretty good about this shave, ladies and gentlemen. Well, and gentlemen, I don't know that any ladies actually watch my videos. So, still, slick, slick, slick. Here we go. Oh, I'm making a mess. Yes, sir. I got enough soap on here too. I got enough soap. I could, I could, uh, I could probably do four more passes. Man. I just I could play with it all day. Just sit there and paint my face with it. So you dudes are probably tired of hearing me say this, but it, I would not be doing myself any good to not mention. The, uh, the meetup, Huntsville, Alabama. Good shave. Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, on uh, Friday, October the 16th, there will be, uh, well, not actually in Huntsville, uh, Soap Commander International Headquarters is located about 20 minutes north of Huntsville in a little town called Ardmore, right on the Alabama-Tennessee state line. And that is where Carrie and Darren Siebert reside. And this is where they make Soap Commander soaps and uh, bombs and coffee. Their son makes coffee too. So anyway, Friday night, uh, barbecue cookout with uh, Siebert's hosting everyone who wishes to come. I would say it would probably be wise to RSVP to uh, to either me or Jammin GI James or the Seabirds to let them know that you're coming so that they'll know how much food they need to uh, to make or buy. Hmm.
One little pesky hair right there that's annoying. It's just gonna have to stay there. I ain't messing with it no more. Mm-hmm. Nice shave. Nice shave. I've got a spot right there that I just can't get. Hmm. sharp enough to shave. I'm glad of that. Let's get this out of block. I got a feeling there's gonna be a little bit of singing after that. Those little touch-ups I was making. Oh yeah. And uh, let's do the Thayers. The Shaving Evangelist, Mr. Bailey, calls that magic made by witches. I do agree. It's good stuff. Also, Mr. Bailey, uh, that was a damned ugly shirt you were wearing yesterday. Real tight. And um, for the after shave today, we have the matching Mickey Lee Soapworks panty dropper. Panty dropper. I don't, can't really see that. Just the glare of the sun and everything. I don't know. How you... Panty dropper after shave milk. And I've never. I've never, I've never used an aftershave milk before, so, um, mmm,
no burn. This is just a liquid balm. That's good stuff. I'll put a little bit more on. Alrighty then. So, thanks everybody for watching the uh, the meetup in Huntsville, 16th of October at uh, Soap Commander headquarters for the cookout Friday evening, and then Saturday, the next day, the 17th, we will be having the meetup, the actual meetup in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, so. Um, uh, do please RSVP to me or James or Soap Commander Darren or Carrie for um, to let people know, let them know that you people are coming so that they will know how much food to provide. So that would be handy. So I appreciate everybody watching this video. Take care. Have a good uh, rest of the week. Hope everybody uh, had a good weekend and um, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye bye.